My name is Mr. Bryson. I am a first year teacher here at Collinwood High School. I teach physical science primarily to ninth graders. Um, this last semester, we uh, learned in my class forces in motion, Newton's uh, first, second, and third law of motion. Uh, we learned potential kinetic energy last semester, but we kind of built upon that. Um, this semester, friction and gravity, all things that are very um, significant and important when building a roller coaster, when building a fun and safe roller coaster. You have to find that balance. You have to know those laws to find that balance. The kids have been um, applying what they've been learning in the classroom to what they've been doing with the roller coasters. Two of my classes actually built roller coasters with Connects pieces. Um, so as they were building it, you know, we would converse about um, how different laws were applying to the roller coaster. Why the roller coaster would go faster on some parts than other parts. Um, why it would stop at certain parts. What would happen if there was too much energy? Um, would it continue to stop? And what can be the consequences of that on a real roller coaster? If a roller coaster had too much energy, um, it would go on forever and somebody could get hurt. So that was the safety part. But at the same time, you wanted to have enough energy that it's going to be fun. Hey, my name is Morris. And today we're going to be opening the boxes for our Collinwood um, High School Science Fair. Um, we're going to be opening the boxes for our Collinwood High School Science Fair. The first thing we need to do is build the base of the structure. The Air Force of Gravity will hold the base down. The Air Force of Gravity will hold the base down. The base will oppose gravity as a hose attracts up. Piece by piece, mass is added to the base, keeping it stable on the ground. All right, you gotta help them out. Y'all could actually break the task up. Somebody could do step one while somebody else builds yeah, step two. Then, some, then, two, then two or three other people can do step two. Every single one of these pieces is used. Every piece is used. Mm -hmm. Even the little bitty pieces, so be careful with those. All right, so can you explain your project to me? Yeah, uh, when it goes, when the car goes around, it comes up by a chain. So that's going from uh, potential to kinetic. And when it gets to the top, it's going to be full of uh, potential energy. And then it's going to go down all the way to kinetic energy and come all the way around, just keep going back and forth. So how many times do you anticipate it will go through the track based on the potential energy that it maxes out on up there? All the time, because if it goes down the first time, uh -huh. And then it's bringing back up at the same speed as going to be So will it always catch the chain to bring it up? Yes. Okay. Because it's a uh, little piece under the bottom of the car, so you can't push it down. It only come up and lie down. And then go up. Let's say that chain wasn't there. Eventually, what would stop the roller coaster from moving? Uh, it would stop at the end because it has no potential energy to make it up here. Also uses mechanical energy. Potential and kinetic energy are two kinds of mechanical energy. Every hill and loop is designed so that the combination of potential energy and kinetic energy and friction takes the car to the end of the road to safely. Right here. You talking about this right here. No, I'm trying to figure out this, this part. You got to connect yeah, but you got together. Are you connecting to this? Like, okay. <laughs> I'm getting swung. <laughs> That's the way I know, man. You just did it, dude. Just have patience. Relax. I ain't no patience. See, we, we got the hardest piece. Yeah. Just have patience. Sometimes you got to take, right take your time. It's actually, it's it's scary. It's actually, it's it's actually relaxing. Scary. If you just relax and you let, you let, the, let the process happen. The first hill is the tallest. The car is moved to the top electronically so it can have the most amount of potential energy it will have for the rest of the roller coaster. The car will use the same energy gain from being moved to the top of the hill to go down, up and around loops until the end. The first hill cannot be too tall because this will give the car too much energy causing the stop at the end to be too difficult and maybe dangerous. 
An example is when the driver hits his or her brakes after he or she has been speeding. The stop is abrupt because it is taking a lot of friction for the car to lose all of its energy. The energy has to go somewhere. And we know V is the same thing as what? V is the same thing as what? Velocity, and velocity is pretty much the same thing as? Speed. Speed, okay. Yep. All right. The heels and the loops need to be designed the way mechanical energy, potential, and kinetic easily convert from one to another. The highest heel has to be the first heel. This heel gives the car the greatest potential energy. Once the car is released, it will accelerate it until they reach the bottom of the heel. Yeah, point zero four two nine, and that's how fast it took for the car for the car to go for the five centimeters to get to the ten centimeters. So right, right here, or right here, right there. You wrote it in the right place, and then you have to divide the ten. Mm -hmm. Five divided by zero point. Gravity pulls things down 9.8 meters per second in free fall, but here gravity is being opposed by the slope of the hill. So the car will move down the track with less acceleration than natural force of gravity. As the car goes down the hill, the potential energy turns into kinetic energy. As the car goes up another hill, the kinetic energy turns into potential energy. This pattern continues until the ride is complete. Why is science dumb? Don't make sense. Okay, why well, don't make sense to you? Hmm? Okay, do you think you need to know science? No. Why? Because you don't think you need to know science. Right. You don't think um, you just need to know science, period? I need science because I want to be a nurse, but it's just, I don't get it. Like, so it's So, sales and all that kind of stuff, you don't think you should know they none of that? Sales? No, fool. The sales, why you would get a disease and oh, why your auntie oh, got cancer oh, oh, oh. and your uncle yeah. don't? Oh. You don't I, think you need I to you know? Said, like sales, like it's selling stuff. No, you don't. But, like people with with a lot of mental illnesses due yeah. to genes. And why, if you got a problem with asthma, you might pass it on to your son. You don't think you should know that? You don't know that. For real? Okay, so look, I'm going to have a real talk conversation with you. All right. Two, about two years ago, I had a seizure. I don't know if I told y'all about this. You, anybody know anybody that had a seizure? Any of y'all have seizures? I keep it real. I'm, hey, I, t I gotta take medicine every morning. This is my son. I have another son next to Mr. Bryson, and that's my nephew. They on spring break. Uh, this son right here is the DJ Fatty Banks voice. He said it when he was like three. So when y'all hear my CDs, that's his voice right there. But he was there when I had my first one. Do, do any of y'all understand the term breaking the cycle? Mm -hmm. Won't you explain to everybody what breaking the cycle means? I say, like for my mother and father, they was straight A students, mm -hmm. did everything, had jobs, didn't get in trouble. And then my brother, he a year older than me. He, he's smart, but he a street boy. He made bad decisions. He broke the cycle. Like, he didn't finish school. He dropped out of 10th grade. Mm -hmm. Like, so now, like, it's not like, so now I'm the one that's got to come back and finish and finish high school and go to college and then have kids for them to finish the cycle because he broke it. Mm -hmm. Like, his, my, my um, brother, his son, he only, like, four or five and he's bad. Like, he don't even be wanting to go to daycare and that. He fight us in the morning. Uh -huh. Like and me and my brother live together in our own apartment. Like he be fighting us, to, us to take him to school and stuff. So, um, you got younger siblings? Uh huh. I got sister. How well are they doing in school? Um, Gray wise, she got the grades. She make A's and B's, but she have a bad so she gets suspended and stuff for fighting and cussing at teachers and stuff. For one of the other classes that wasn't building a roller coaster, they actually did the uh, presentation on the video and they also made some music for us. So they recorded a song that we're going to be able to use in the class in the future to kind of drive in um, those concepts, forces in motion. 
Um, actually, that's the name of the song, right? Forces in Motion? Coasters in Motion. Coast, Coasters in Motion, okay. So that's the name of the song, so we'll be able to use that in the future. And through that, they kind of learned, um, learned some of those concepts as well as they were making the song. So, and that's all something they enjoyed. It wasn't, I didn't have to convince them that it was gonna be important or they needed to know it to pass a test or to, uh, to make them more open-minded or anything. It was something they were intrinsically interested in. has in height, kinetic energy has in speed. Another way to think about it is height turning into speed. As the car loses height, it accelerates. The less potential energy or height, the more kinetic energy or speed. Potential energy has an inverse relationship to kinetic energy. This is explained by the law of conservation of energy. Conservation means saving. The total amount of energy does not change. It is only changed from one form to another. In this case, it is changing from potential energy to kinetic energy back and forth. Energy is never created or destroyed ever. You may ask, how does the car ever stop if the energy was never destroyed at the end of a roller coaster? Well, the car did lose energy, but it wasn't destroyed. When two surfaces slide past each other, like a car and a track, they cause friction. Friction caused energy to be changed to heat and sound energy. That's why when you rub two surfaces together, you can often hear and the surfaces get warmer. The kinetic energy turns to heat and sound energy, but it was never destroyed.
I like doing the coasting in motion because it was fun. It was a new way of learning science. <clears throat> it was it was just fun from sitting in the classroom knowing I wasn't gonna pay attention. And I learned a lot from writing a song, from singing it, and from just everything, from watching them build the roller coasters and playing with the roller coasters and stuff. I learned stuff I probably wasn't gonna learn from just sitting in the classroom. Cause if I would've sat in the classroom, I wouldn't have paid attention. I would've been on my phone and talking disrupting. So yeah, it was fun. I liked it a lot. I hope I can do it again. It's been a pleasure um, to work with Reading Ram and I had the students do the, ro the roller coaster activity and make music and I'm hoping we can, you know, even pull it up another notch next year. Potential energy when it started from the top. Kinetic energy going when the coaster drop. Forces in motion, forces in motion. Everybody screaming when the coaster's in motion. Potential energy when it started from the top. Kinetic energy going when the coaster drop. Forces in motion, forces in motion. Everybody turning when the coaster's in motion.